What's going on guys? It's your least favorite gun villain, Dude Knowledge from the Tactical Turkeys. And it's just about that time that we finally started answering a lot of the questions that we've been receiving in our DMs, um, the uh, Tactical Turkey website, CRM forms, as well as, you know, our email. Um, to kind of keep the transparency alive between us and you guys, our beautiful supporters, and um, everyone else who's had our backs uh, throughout our journey with this whole YouTube Instagram thing, right? So, first and most asked question is, who is Rick's Tactical and what is our relationship with them? Rick's Tactical is a newer night vision company um, that has recently went ahead and went public this year at the NRA show. Um, Bricks Tactical is going to be one of the key players when it comes down to providing um, night vision accessories, night vision units, and all that cool jazz, as well as your, I guess you could call them more of your intermediate stuff when it comes down to like fusion thermals and stuff, um, at an affordable cost to many people like you and I who just want to go out there and do the thing, right? So shameless plug, if you're a vendor out there and you want to start carrying night vision stuff or already carry night vision stuff and you want to become a dealer, um, feel free to hit us up um, via DMs or the Tactical Turkey CRM form or basically just email us um, and we'd love to get you on board and uh, stocked up with Rick's Tactical stuff. Now what is our relationship with Rick's Tactical? As some of you guys have already known or kind of guessed, um, especially if you um, were a part of the pre-order um, a couple weeks back, um, we are actually in the process of becoming distributors for Rick's Tactical um, merchandise, uh, you know, night vision and accessories. Um, it's not something that we really wanted to um, pursue to begin with. However, um, the more and more we find out about uh, the people that run Rick's Tactical and the stuff that they offer at the price point, we definitely wanted to get involved, not so much to become night vision dealers or whatever, but to essentially bring the night vision out to um, more people so that we could share this passion for nighttime stuff to more and more people. Um, long story short, we really just want to get more exposure for night vision stuff as a whole and get people um, participating in night vision stuff. That's kind of where we're at. And not to mention Josh, Ryan from Rick's Tactical, they're straight goons. And we have quite a good relationship um, as it stands. So it's kind of one of those things where it's just very harmonious. Second thing that's been popping up a lot is what do we use to film um, under night vision and stuff? Um, just because I, I, I get it. I get it, guys. I get it. Taking your phone and putting it in the back of your night vision, it sucks. I get it. So for starters, um, I would highly suggest you look up these guys um, called... Um, Total Overwatch Productions. I'm going to go ahead and tag them um, here on Instagram if you're watching it on Instagram. That way you can go ahead and kind of see exactly what they have to offer. Um, I highly recommend these units, um, especially if you're just getting into um, filming under night vision. Um, especially if you don't have a lot of people with um, hands that could go ahead and, and actually... Um, act as a camera guy or if you're just simply trying to get uh, first person view footage uh, simply because it enables you to still use your nods um, you can see through them um, while you go ahead and capture footage uh, the concept is fairly simple uh, you go ahead and uh, actually just attach it to your pvs 14 31s or whatever have you um, and you go ahead and put a GoPro. I mean, nowadays a lot of people have GoPro, so it shouldn't really be a big issue. Um, this will allow you to capture good audio, good footage, um, as well as if you are into attaching uh, lavalier mics and stuff like that, you're able to do that and retrofit it to your uh, GoPro and still film at night. Second way to film, um, the way that we like to do it, 
is using a Psyonix um, camcorder. This is essentially what we use um, to film, I guess, third person night vision stuff. Um, we have it attached to a Ronin SC gimbal um, with the uh, provided Psyonix IR illuminator as well as the Psyonix uh, Aurora itself. Um, reason why we like this is just because you could easily um, track it. Um, you could also attach your phone, collect, uh, connect via Bluetooth to your Psyonix so you could have a heads up um, preview of what you're filming or you could simply just look through and I guess use your intuition. I don't know, whatever have you. Um, long story short, this rig that we kind of came up with has been working quite phenomenally, um, especially with the gimbal setup just because it gives us that smooth uh, transitions and rolling shots and whatever it is that we need to get footages of. One of the biggest questions that we we get is, is night vision really worth it? Well, that comes to a very subjective perspective, right? So seeing at night is not something that us humans are normally capable of unless you have superhuman powers. So the ability to see at night would be considered a superhuman ability, kind of just like flying or um, going and traveling really fast. Um, and stuff like that. Is it necessary? Well, yes and no. Um, yes, because, well, you want to see at night, right? And no, because, well, you don't really have to see at night. I guess you could always have a flashlight, but that's kind of lame. Now, the follow-up question would be, well, if you are looking for night vision, what would your preference be? And I'm going to go ahead and step away from the biasness, um, especially with the relationship that we have with Rick's Tactical. Um, however, I do have to make a point that the price point for binoculars nowadays, um, especially with Rick's Tactical, you're starting out at $39.99, which if you really think about it, most of your uh, weapon system, you know, topped up with accessories and stuff like that, you're very well hitting that price point right off the bat. So it's not so much out of reach. Keep in mind, a few years back before any of this stuff started coming out to the market, you would easily be paying 3000 close for um, PVS-14 monoculars um, with some decent specs. And if we're going to keep it lamest terms, uh, decent specs, meaning, I don't know, 1800, 1700 FOM. Um, which by today's standard, it's decent. Um, it's, it's not great. However, for something in that price point, uh, you could easily pick up one of the Rick's tactical stuff for sub 2000, uh, monocular wise, um, and get yourself into, uh, binoculars for roughly about 4,500 bucks, uh, white foss and right about those same specs. So it's kind of something that you have to ask yourself, do you want something that covers both eyes or are you cool with just having one eye? If you're blind in one eye, I guess, uh, hey, I guess you're saving a bunch of money. Now, next question. What is your recommended helmet setup? Well, I don't really have much of a recommendation, um, but what I can tell you is what I would personally run because obviously I'm not your dad. I'm not going to tell you what to do or what to buy or how to live your life. However, I can tell you what I personally run. Now, as far as helmets go, um, I chose to go with the Team 1D Ballistic um, just because Team fucking 1D. Um, <laughs> I like the fact that they already have the cool worm dials and whatnot. Um, it's super comfy with the uh, air foam or whatever the hell they call it. Um, long story short, it's just comfortable. It's what I like. Um, it's it's just what I prefer. Um, as far as mount goes, um, there's a few options. However, I personally like the Wilcox G24s uh, for the main reason that it's got four different ways of adjustability. Um, and it's pretty damn rugged. 
Um, one of the biggest features that I really do enjoy is the breakaway feature. Um, that feature is really, really good if you don't want to snap your neck and you like to travel on <clears throat> electric dirt bikes through wooded areas and potentially could um, get one of your nods uh, caught in a branch or something. Uh, that will prevent you from snapping your neck. Now, as far as hearing pros or ear pros um, goes, I don't like running it mounted to the helmet just because I don't like to have to always put my helmet on to have my ear pros on. Sometimes I like to take my helmet off and watch people shoot while I let my head kind of not be soaked in sweat. As far as um, lights and stuff and whatnot, Honestly, none of this stuff is necessary for use. Um, battery pack, this is something that comes on the, um, this guy, the Rix Tactical, which is the Binocular Fusion Thermal. Um, that one does need to run on a battery pack that's provided. So, it's kind of necessary. However, for stuff like the um, RMV31s, the um, RMV14s and whatnot, those you could run with the internal battery um, to run the unit. It just keeps your helmet a lot lighter. Um, and I I would also say the RMV31Ss, but those haven't been really released yet. And uh, we got to check them out here in, in a little bit. And... Um, I'll take you guys along so you can kind of get the same experience here and you know you can kind of see what the uh, the higher end tier of what Rick's Tactical offers. Not but not least, IR illumination. How necessary is having a good IR illuminator? Well, there's two ways to answer this. What is your ambient light looking like? Um, if you're talking about a very well moonlit night, having an IR illuminator, illuminator isn't exactly necessary um, just because you're going to be fine without it. Um, <clears throat> now, if you're talking about a very pitch black environment with, where there is absolutely zero light present, you will need a good IR illuminator. Luckily, our friends over at Goonbeam sell one of the <laughs> one of the most powerful IR illuminators that I have ever seen for the, especially for the price point. Um, make sure you guys go check them out. Um, it's very bright, I'll tell you that. Um, not to mention, um, if you're looking for some really cool uh, LAM devices out there, um, AMMJ Solution does have his Penumbra. And it, word on the street is there might be some donut shit. You didn't hear that from me. Um, nonetheless, guys, if you're not doing anything on August 31, I want to personally invite you guys to the Rick's Tactical Official Launch Party in Haltom City. Is it Haltom City? Let me check. Yes, Haltom City, Texas at CavTac Airsoft. Uh, one of the nation's nicest indoor facility for airsoft shit word on the street is they actually kind of have a not a one-on-one -on -one clone but they, they have a, a nuketown mask for you call of duty dudes out there um kind of theme and, and and it's pretty cool because you, you got the cqb feel along with it you know what you just got to be there if you're not there you're probably ugly and still live in your mom's basement and if you do hey man ain't no shame in that whatever it is what it is look man that's all that's all the time i got for you guys um i'll catch you guys whenever